Well, hello everyone, this is The Balkan Guy, and today I'm going to be talking about my personal predictions for the Eurovision 2024 second semi-final. <laughs> oh my god, I totally messed myself up there. But yes, I'm going to be talking about predictions for the second semi-final. Who do I think is going through? Who do I think has the highest chances, lowest chances? Who do I not think is going through? Y'all. I'm ready to get down to it. I'm ready to analyze some of these songs. Obviously, this is before we see any of the performances and any, any of the rehearsals. I will be filming my production video when I see the rehearsals too. This is just from the songs. This is from what we have seen so far. So of course, it's gonna change. Performances mean so much in Eurovision. But again, this is just now, for now, what we have for now. I wanna judge you based off of that and give some of my personal predictions, you know, how I'm feeling and what I think is gonna happen. And before I get into those, you want to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you also want to go ahead and follow me on my Instagram, TikTok and Twitter because I always, always appreciate that. Um, but yeah, let's get into these. <laughs> we got the second semi-final, which in the beginning I thought that wasn't going to be a very strong semi-final, but it turned out to be honestly as strong as the first one because it's just a really strong Eurovision year. <laughs> and um, I will uh, begin this video by saying... This is just my personal prediction and kind of what I think is probably going to happen. It is not factual. It is just things that I have analyzed and things from my perspective. You probably have a different perspective and that is totally okay. I want you guys to share it in the comments. Tell me how you feel. How you feel. Um, what do you think? Uh, which songs are going through? Which songs have the highest chance of going through? It is totally okay if you have a different opinion. That is the beauty of Eurovision. We all have different things we look at, different analyses we make. This is just mine. I have been a big Eurovision fan for like 20 years now. I have been a Eurovision YouTuber now for three and a half years. So from my experience with Eurovision, I'm that's what I'm basing it off of. Simple as that. <laughs> I don't think I'm an expert. I don't think I'm what I say is the ultimate truth. I just, I'm making my, my prediction. <laughs> that, that's it. <laughs> I'm just a Balkan dude here making my prediction. <laughs> okay, let's talk about second semifinal. I'm gonna start this off by talking about songs that I'm like, I'm putting songs in four different categories. The first category is, it's going to the final 100%. There is not a doubt that it doesn't go to the semi-final. Second category is, this is probably going to the final. It is strong, it is probably going to the final. Third category is, probably not going to the final, but there is a chance, there's a chance that it surprises people and qualifies. And fourth category is, I don't think this is going through. I just, I personally don't see it. <laughs> and I'm gonna start it off with the first category, which is going to the final 100%, not a chance it doesn't go to the final. And the countries that I think in this category are Austria. This is just such a banger. It sounds televote friend. This screams televote and it's a televote only semifinal. Guys, when I'm talking about this, I'm considering that this is televote only, please. I know there are songs that are jury friendly. We gotta talk about this is Televote. Is Televote gonna vote for this? Televote is gonna vote for Austria. It's it screams Televote. We know she's an incredible performer. There's no way, no way, regardless of what the performance is, there's no way that this doesn't go to the final. Next up is Switzerland. Switzerland is going through. We know that Nemo's vocals are strong enough. So whatever the performance ends up being, this is going to the final. There is no, this is a potential winner. There is no way this stays in the semis without Televote only semifinal. Next up is Armenia. And the reason why I say Armenia, I think Armenia is not one of the strongest songs in the semifinal, but the reason why I'm putting it in the category of going to the final for sure is because this is televote friendly enough to go to the final. It just has those amazing vibes. It gives me similar vibes to like Trend at Full, but even better because it's just like her energy is infectious and it's amazing. Do I think this is gonna win the semifinal? No, I don't think this is winning some this might not even come to top five in the semifinal, but it is going through 100 percent Regardless of what the performance is, this is going through. <laughs> okay, next up is Netherlands. Same story, this is going through whatever the performance is. It does not matter. This is going to the final. It's just too Televote friendly that it does not go. It's There's just no way that it doesn't. It, 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 it just doesn't exist. 
And the last song in this category of like 100% sure, not a single doubt, is Norway. It's just, again, the scream, semi, the scream televote. It's frog, it's authentic, it's cultural. We know that uh, televoters have been vibing with uh, authentic Norwegian entries. We know they've been vibing with Kano. There's no reason why the televoters don't vote for this. It is, I mean, I don't even know. Do we have any other? Yeah, we have one other rock song, but this is by far the strongest rock song. All rock lovers are going to be voting for this. 100% qualifier, not a single doubt that they don't. And if they perform the same exact performance that they did in the national final, they're going through. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm talking about the category. This is probably going through. Uh, but yeah, there's just like a bit of doubt. Just a bit of doubt. For some, there is a bit more. For some, a bit less. But this is probably going through. And in that category is Greece. <laughs> And I know, I already know, I already know that like a ton of the comments of y'all are going to be saying Greece is 100%. For me, Greece is 99%. I think this was like the, the closest one that I almost put in my first category. The only reason why I'm not putting it in that category is because I'm scared for the staging. Greece has not been good with stagings. Greece delivered one amazing staging, which was 2021. And then everything else has been a floppy staging. So that's why it just, I'm scared that they're gonna ruin this song with a staging and it might get lost, but it's not gonna happen. That's why I'm saying 90, I'm 99% sure this is going to fall. There, this is not staying in the semifinals. I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping that they don't somehow destroy it with the staging. Again, I don't think it's gonna happen. That's why I'm saying this is the closest to the green category, which is 99%. And that's why it's in this category. Just because, I trust Marina Sati so much, I just don't trust the Greek delegation. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Okay, next up in this category is Israel. Guys, I as much as I don't want this song to go to the final, and I don't think it would be deserving to go to the final, it's going through. It's it's gonna get the televote support, it's going through. I don't think it's even needed to further discuss this. I, it's it's going through the final. There there's no I don't see a path for this not to qualify. It's gonna get the televote support, and I, even if it's just like from political reasons, it's gonna get the televote support. This is going to the final. Next up is Estonia. <laughs> Estonia is just I mean it's a pretty pretty sure qualifier just because again it screams televote. I just feel like. The reason why I'm a little bit on edge with this one is because I feel like it has a similar voting group to the Netherlands. It has a similar voting group to Armenia. It has a similar voting group to a little bit with Greece that I'm not sure if like there's going to be enough votes in this one group to get all of these songs through. I think there is, and I think they're all making it. That's why I'm saying this is probably going to be in the final. I'm just not 100% sure, you know? But again, I'm pretty sure this is making it through. Oh, next up is Georgia. I think the only way that this doesn't go through is if it, the performance is just terrible and it's just like it doesn't work at all. Georgia is not known for the performances. They kind of ruined their song last year with a performance. It could happen again this year. I choose to believe that it's not gonna happen and I see this in the final and I need this personally in the final because this is in my personal top three. I just, I'm scared for it because of the performance. But I do think it's gonna be good enough and I do think we're gonna be seeing the song in the final. And last in my, this is probably going through, is Belgium. I know, again, just like with Greece, there's gonna be a lot of comments saying, no, this is a short qualifier. <sighs> I do think once this song makes it to the final, this is gonna do really well, especially with the juries. This is gonna be in top five of the juries. We know that. But how is it gonna do with the televote? That is what I'm scared of. I just, we don't know how it's gonna result. I, I do think it's gonna qualify, especially because there are a lot of ballad lovers out there that this is gonna stand out, dude, and they're gonna pick up their phone and vote for it. So yeah, I do think this is making it through, but 
it's just like there's that slightly one bit of doubt in my brain that's like what if it, what if they don't what if this is the shock non qualifier because we're gonna get one shock non qualifier of the season right we have to get at least one so what if it's them i don't think it's gonna be them i think they're going to the final but there is a bit of my mind like doubt in my mind that's like could it happen <laughs> that's when they're not in my 100 percent Okay, moving to the next category, which is the songs that I'm like, this is probably not going through, but they could surprise us. They could surprise us. And the first one in this one is <sighs> Check Ya. I think Check Ya is just such a cool song. It's got audience is gonna vibe with it. And I think it's really gonna come down to the performance and how Aiko brings this out. Is it gonna be better than the national final? If it is better than the national final, it's a rock song. Televoters usually tend to love rock. I could see this maybe surprise us, but I, I just don't, realistically, I don't see it happening. But it could, it could. <laughs> Next one is Albania. Y'all should never ever doubt Albania and here I am I'm doubting Albania and I'm questioning myself for doubting Albania because Albania always surprises us and somehow, somehow makes it to the final this is I think this is one of those years this song is pretty high really high in my personal top and I love this song I just think I think if it was an Albanian I would be a lot more likely to put this like to qualify but considering that it's in English I don't know I still think there is a small chance that they do surprises and go to the final and take someone's spot which I would be really happy with, I'm not gonna lie, because I love this song. <laughs> but I just, I don't know whose spot they would take. <laughs> I honestly don't know whose spot they would take, just, it's a, such a strong semi. But they could, they really could. <laughs> Next up in this category, and I think this is the last one in the category of probably not qualifying, but it might surprise us, and that's San Marino. Again, it's the rock songs. Rock songs get a lot of televoters in Eurovision. Then we have to consider that. And Megara are incredible performers. Incredible. They're gonna throw a show, show, show. So if this qualified, would I be surprised? Not at all. Not at all. Just because, especially if the performance is amazing, they really bring it. I could see this gathering enough votes to qualify. Considering that it's televote only, I could see it happen. But probably not, because it's San Marino. And San Marino does not ever get a lot of telephone votes so I don't probably not gonna qualify but yeah <laughs> and we're moving on to the last category and probably category that y'all are gonna yell at me for because you have a different opinion but that is okay you should not yell at me it's okay and that is the songs that I just I don't see a path for them right now I really really don't and that is Malta <laughs> I love this song. I love the choreography of this song. I just don't think it stands out enough. I think it sounds too much like a basic pop song that it's gonna get enough Telegram support in this semi-final. Considering who it's competing against and considering that we have Austria here, we have Greece here, we have Armenia here, Georgia here, like kind of like girl bops that are just objectively stronger than this. I think all the votes are gonna go to them and I don't see a path for Malta to qualify, even though we know she's gonna deliver an amazing dance performance. Next up on this list is Denmark. I personally really like this song and I enjoyed this song so much. And I don't think this song is getting last place in the semi, don't get me wrong. I think it could even get like 11th place and almost make it. I just don't think it's gonna be in the top 10. It's just, I don't see there being a voting demographic for this song to make it into the top 10. It could be 11, but it's, I don't see being top 10. That's, it's just, I don't think, it didn't even win like the televote in the national final, and the national final was super weak. So it's just, it's a good pop Swedish song, Swedish sounding song. I don't think it's enough to stand out. I just, I really, and the semifinal is so strong that I don't see it getting enough votes. And last but not least in the semifinal, the songs that I, I don't see making is Latvia. It's, it's a ballad, first of all, and second of all, it's competing against 
Israel and Belgium that are objectively stronger ballots and are they are making it through and they're gonna take votes from this and Latvia is there's no way that this goes through the final I think the performance would have to be the most unique one-of-a-kind thing that we've ever seen in our life for this to have a chance I just don't see it that it is how it is <laughs> but yeah that is it when it comes to my personal predictions for the semi-final two guys let me know in comments do you agree with what I said can you tell like where where I'm coming from I know y'all are gonna be disagreeing and that's totally okay let me know in the comments don't come after me and be like oh my god he's an idiot maybe I am maybe Latvia Denmark and Malta are gonna qualify and all of us are gonna be like what the hell <laughs> and honestly I'm I, would I be too mad about that happening? I, I kind of like surprise results. <laughs> but this is just from my analysis and my analysis before seeing the performances. And that is it. If you enjoyed this video, you want to go ahead and click the subscribe button. Only like 4.4% of y'all watching this video are subscribed, which I personally think is a bit sad. And it would make me really happy if that percentage went up. So if you would like to make this sad boy happy, <laughs> You want to go ahead and click that subscribe button and you also want to go ahead and follow me on my instagram tiktok and twitter because i always always appreciate that what can you find there on instagram it is mostly some gym selfies so if you're into those you want to go ahead and follow me there on tiktok i just post some dumb stuff and twitter i tweet about your version and assume i'm assuming since you're watching this video you're probably into your version and you want to go ahead and follow me if you're on twitter come on join the fam i tweet a lot i get into a lot of trouble on twitter because i always say exactly what's on my mind and some people don't like it <laughs> that is it when it comes to my predictions for the second semi-final thank you guys so so much for watching and i'm gonna see you in my next video goodbye